Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to look at how we can engrave an image onto a mess like this, this, or this. This video has three parts to it. Part one, we're going to model a little container. In part two, we look at how we can engrave the image onto this container. And in part three, we look at how we can engrave a color image onto that container. In the final part, which is part 4, we look at how we can render this image. Let's start by deleting the default cube by hitting X to delete. And we're going to use a cylinder mesh. So let's add a cylinder. Hold on Shift and A, Mesh and Cylinder. Or you can come up to this menu here and click Add, Mesh and Cylinder. We're going to scale up our cylinder along Z axis by hitting S and Z and scale up like this. Now let's go into edit mode by hitting tab and go into paste select by hitting tree on our keyboard or you can simply come up here and click this tree button one, the vertex mode, the edge mode and the face select mode. So now let's select the top face by clicking on it and extrude along Z axis by along here and then scale in extrude again up somewhere around here and extrude and scale at the same time by hitting e and s and scale out a little bit like this and extrude up somewhere around here and extrude up again somewhere around here and scale in for the top of the lid and I think that's it for the top of our little bottle let's go down to the bottom of the mess our little bottle here select the face at the bottom and extrude down like this E and extrude down and then scale a little bit in and for the face we extrude in and scale in at the same time okay and uh, let's grab by hitting G to grab and Z to move a little bit up along the G axis. And now we have our rough little container ready. Okay, we need to apply a modifier to this container. So let's go to modifier property in this section here. Click on this range and add a modifier and select soft division surface modifier. Now our container does not look like what we want now. So just increase the level up to and lift the render as it is and come back to our mess. Go into edit mode and let's fix this uh, um, bottle up again. So hold on control R to add a loop cut here and then slide this one up here until you come somewhere here. Do the same for the bottom. So control R for the loop cut and slide it down all the way somewhere here I think it's a uh, here and let's do the same for the top here control R and then come down here and control R and then come up here a little bit somewhere there and control R and let's get this lead all the way in let's go to the top and control R and scale a little bit somewhere here okay I think we're ready for the mess now and now let's right click here and say it's smooth so this is the first part of modeling our small bottle here the next part we're going to look at how we can engrave our image onto this little bottle